Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Look at Triple Town. This is, uh, it's not a new game, but it's an iOS or mobile game uh, that was actually ported to Steam very recently. Just showed up on the Steam store for the cost of $8 on sale. It's going to be $10, of course, when everything finishes. And in terms of that distribution model, it really reminds me of Critter Crunch, which was from the guys at Capybara Games, the guys who did, like, Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. Uh, it originally came out on mobile, and then was ported to Steam uh, with middling or, you know, varied results depending on who you ask. And this is another game that I feel very similar uh, to Critter Crunch about. We've got this kind of, this is our hub screen right here, but I don't want to explain what's going on here just yet. I'd rather just go on a mission here by starting a standard colony, uh, and then I can talk about the basic mechanics of the game so you can actually understand what's going on. Basically, the way we do things in Triple Town is it's a match three game, but it's a weird kind of match three game. I kind of like the store, uh, the, the basic gameplay here, the standard gameplay. It's like half puzzle game. That's mostly puzzle game, I guess, and that's probably why I suck at it. So, basically, it kind of works like Tetris in that we always get these tiles in our queue. So right now I have grass, so I'll put some grass down. Obviously this takes up a space. And the mission is over, or we fail the mission sometimes, uh, when there's no more space left for us to do anything. And we... I should just do things for a while here, basically, to kind of get a feel for what's going on. Because right now it's a little difficult to explain. But basically, I'm going to get a variety of tiles consisting of grass or bushes, trees, bears, ninjas, you'll see... Uh, and by matching up three of them, which we will do very shortly, like this, uh, we will create a bush. So matching up three grass makes a bush, matching up three bushes makes a tree, matching up three trees makes a hut, and matching up three huts makes a bigger house. We'll talk about bears in a second, but for now, I am just going to demonstrate a little bit more. Here we've got a tree, so we're going to stick this one right over here. Our goal is basically just to get as many points, <clears throat> pardon me, as we possibly can. So this should create a house here, because I'll create three bushes, which will become a tree on this square. And then the three trees will become a house. Beautiful. Or a hut, as they say. So, our game, mostly here at the start, just consists of trying to basically match three in the best way possible in order to get as many points as we possibly can. Now, we'll talk about these bears again in a second. But in the meantime, you can see that doing this is getting us points. I want this bear to move. But he won't move yet. We'll just create a tree here. Um, we can basically, if we wanted to, we could trap this bear. This will create a coffin, or a gravestone, I should say. And three gravestones equals a church, so we can probably try to get another one going here. Uh, we can also use robots here to destroy blocks. So I'm going to destroy that, uh, rock that was in the center there. And we're going to try to create three trees here, I guess four trees, <clears throat> technically now, uh, to try to get, uh, another hut in here. Because if we get three huts, basically we're just trying to stack these things to make larger and larger structures. And by making these larger and larger structures... Uh, we can eventually grow a very large city that is going to get us a lot of points here. And those points will eventually factor in uh, to our overall... Hmm. Don't want to... I guess I could do it... I don't want to do it like this, though. Um, those points will eventually factor into our overall success on the mission. So I'm just stacking a bunch of bears down here. Like I said, remember, if we get three bears, we get a uh, gravestone. So what I'm actually going to do is just store this bear for now. And then, oh, but I want to store the crystal, too. Crystals allow you to basically create, uh, if you put a crystal down, you automatically match three. I hope I'm explaining the mechanics here. So if I put a crystal down here, it should automatically match these three huts. Yes, and we just got a better hut as a result. Now we are going to trap these bears in here like so, and this should create a, uh, church immediately. Because all three of these are going to become gravestones, because they're trapped and can't move. And then, uh, the three gravestones merge to become a church. Absolutely, that worked out fantastically for me. Let us now try to get uh, another tree set up going here, but first we've got to get a bush, obviously. And basically that's the way the game works. There's this trade-off between uh, constantly trying to... I think I want it like this. Uh, constantly trying to A, make like combinations, but also B, give yourself enough space to actually be able to uh, proceed. Now I'm trying to think of where I want to put... I think I want this like here. And then, oh, I didn't mean to create a tree there. Anyway, we're just creating a bunch of bears here. Again, we could probably create another church, actually, if I wanted to. I'm just going to try to get all these guys trapped in here. Uh, you know what? This will do. Let's put a bear down here. And we'll put a bear here. And a bear here. And that's going to create, like, one huge church. You get more points, obviously, uh, the more things that you merge at once. So that's basically the way that I've been playing the game so far. We could create a gravestone over there exactly if we wanted to. But I like to save those bears up until we actually get the chance to basically just make churches right away. Uh, and we'll try to make a house here, which is going to make it possible for us to put another one here. Now, what's our overarching goal in this game? Basically, it's just to get as many points as possible right now. Uh, as mentioned, this was ported from iOS or mobile. I shouldn't necessarily say iOS without 100% knowing uh, that it did actually come from that platform first and not Android or anything like that. 
This being said, I think there's not too much overarching strategy, like in, a, in an XCOM style, I guess you could say. I'm just gonna trap these bears in here. Uh, maybe we should destroy... Hmm. I don't know, maybe I'll just save this for now. Um, yeah, not much overarching strategy in terms of, like, endgame or anything like that. Uh, mostly just trying to set high scores. There is some persistence to the game. Uh, do we want this bush here? Not really. We probably want it here, actually. And then we could put another tree here. We could actually go to the item store, by the way, and just buy a tree, for example. There's a limited amount of stock. Where's our... Oh, there it is, right there. Um, there's a limited amount of stock. And they restock after X number of moves, but there's also kind of a Farmville element to this game, which people are going to absolutely hate, I feel. Uh, where... In some situations, I want to get this guy over... I want to get these guys split up as much as possible so I can do... Oh, come on. I want to get them all in this one little area over here. But yes, there is a Farmville-esque mechanic. Perhaps, unfortunately... There we go, that's what I was looking for. That's a sweet church. Um, that makes it so... Like, in your capital city, which we'll talk about in a little while, uh, when you get items, you place them in your capital city, and they give you resources. We're going to put our crystal... Uh, in this spot right here, and maybe we'll destroy this mm, rock, I guess. Because uh, the crystal is very valuable, obviously. In fact, you might just want to put the crystal down, like, right here to create a sweet house. But, uh, yes, and in any case, basically you get items, you get rewards uh, for succeeding in these missions right here, or these uh, this gameplay right here. And by succeeding in this, you get extra, uh, basically, buildings that you put down in your capital city. It kind of works like Age of Empires Online, and I don't mean that to be... Uh, positive comparison, as you can probably imagine. Uh, and with those resources and buildings in your capital city, you uh, can get more resources out of them, like more lumber, more ore, etc., etc. But there is a Farmville-esque mechanic where, unfortunately, I want to get these guys pushed over a little bit here. Um, you have to wait like 17 hours in order to harvest those resources, which is something that I don't think works out very well in the game's favor. Come on, get completely trapped. This is going to be a sweet church for us here. And we're getting a lot of points here. We're almost up to an outpost, which is not great, but uh, it, it's a good first step for us in any case. Uh, we're going to use our robot to possibly destroy this weed right here, just so we can get another church in there, maybe. I'm not sure if you can buy churches. In fact, I'm pretty confident you cannot buy churches. Uh, which, I guess, runs counter to real life. But if we just put this here, that should clear those churches and give us a cathedral, which gave us a lot of points. So now we're moving on. We got the outpost already. Now we're moving up to Hamlet. Uh, and basically, hmm, again, what do I want to destroy here? I don't really want to destroy a hut, because those are really valuable. Maybe this bush is... Ah, I think we should just save this for now. And put this grass down here, maybe. Um, yeah, so it's basically, I guess, on the easiest way to describe this game, is that it's pretty much just a, a score-attacking type game. I'm going to put this up here, this over here, and then another bear in here for a free church. Um, it's basically a score-attacking game. It reminds me a lot of Critter Crunch. Despite the fact that on a mechanical level they do differ uh, pretty substantially. I'm going to get rid of that tree. That's going to cost me some decent points. We got another tree as a result though, which we can just use to create a hut over here. Why not? So I guess we ended up uh, getting a profit in that regardless. Uh, but yeah, it reminds me a lot of Critter Crunch. And this is the kind of game where I could definitely see myself playing it on mobile when I basically have nothing better to do. I actually enjoy the gameplay of this a little bit. Uh, and I saw it at PAX, and at PAX I thought it was interesting too. However... Uh, playing it on the PC, especially given the, the price point, which is pretty high uh, considering what you get here. Uh, I, I don't know that people are going to be super interested in paying $10 to play Critter Crunch on their... Uh, oh, that was an awful placement there. I should probably destroy that now. Um, yeah, I don't know if people are going to be super excited to be pay paying $10 for Critter Crunch to play on their PC. It's almost like Hero Academy in that sense, in that like... Sure, on mobile, I could definitely see myself playing this game while I'm waiting for the bus or something. But to actually... What have I... I've botched this so miserably here. Let's just keep that for now. Um, I, I have a hard time imagining myself actually playing through this game. Maybe we'll destroy this hut? That costs us a lot of points, which could be damaging, but we can kill a lot of bears here. Um, Again, I keep getting a super scatterbrained here, but... Uh, it's like Hero Academy in the sense that on a mobile platform, I feel like this works pretty well, but there need to be some design tweaks to make this work on the PC. And one design tweak that absolutely needs to be done is get rid of that Farmville bullshit where you have to wait like 15 hours. Like, that works for social games, or games where you're trying to get people to buy in on a microtransaction model, I suppose. Uh, but it really just does not work in this situation, I feel, where I'm like, I want to play more Triple Town, but I can't. Sorry. 
developers are like, I know you want to play our game and that's cool, but, you know, sorry. We don't want you to spend any more time on, on our gameplay than is absolutely necessary. Let's go to our item store again. I'm going to buy... What did I want to buy? Was it a tree or a bush? I want to buy a hut, actually, if I can. So let's buy a hut. That's expensive. Put our hut down here. Bought another house. And if we get another crystal, we can get a lot of points here. I don't know if I've ever gotten as far as a hamlet, actually. So that would be good for us. Uh, I do want to get... There we go. All these guys trapped, which will give us another church. In a second, anyway. Uh, I want them to move around just a little bit more first. But I don't want to trigger that area yet. Uh, we'll put another bear in here. Perfect. So we get a church down there. And if we can get another church in here somehow, we'll get a lot of points for that. Some of you are maybe wondering at this point... Hmm, I don't think I want to do this. Uh, maybe wondering how you uh, eventually get the this extra currency. I'll explain that once we go to the capital, the capital city. Long story short, you get it as a reward from completing these missions. Oh yes, this is a good one right here. We want this right here, I think. Now we've got two cathedrals. We could possibly get a third cathedral in a row, which would be awesome. Don't hold your breath on that one, but it's, it's possible, I suppose. Um, and we're gonna try to create another tree down here, I suppose. We might as well do it like this. Um, but yeah, long story short, you basically get it for finishing up these missions. And as you can see, we get coins there for making trees and whatnot. Uh, but the big bonuses we'll get later. I think I want to trap this guy. I don't want to trap him in here. I'd rather trap him a little bit further down, if possible. Again, now I can just put two more bears in here and basically get a free church. So I'm gonna try to leave that as it is. But we're in a situation where I'm kind of starved for ideas. We can put the bear here. But I'm running out of space, as you can see. And this is the way that things usually go badly. I'm just filling up the remaining space with grass. I was really hoping we'd get a bear there. But we didn't. So that's going to be the end. So we're going to be an outpost, which is not great. But it's as good as I've done so far anyway. So let's continue. We get 150 coins, as you can see. Uh, we got 350 total. And as well, we get a bonus reward of some extra ore. Now, let's talk about the capital city, which is kind of like, if that was the actual mission of XCOM, this is being back at, like, the mission control area of XCOM. So, here's our capital city. Uh, I placed Parliament, which is just a decorative item. I had the option between, like, a decadent queen statue, uh, not queen like Freddie Mercury, that would have been boss as hell, but, uh, yeah, like, the statue of the queen of Triple Town, or Parliament, and I was like, man, you need good government to run. Then I realized it was just a decorative item. Oh, well. Uh, but then there's all this other stuff I planted. So I got seeds, I planted the seeds, and this works in a similar fashion. Like if you match up three seeds, or three tier one items, like three pieces of lumber, or three pieces of ore, uh, then it becomes a second level tier, or second tier item, like crop here. Now I can click click and collect my farm earnings, that's gonna give me another seed. And in having that other seed, I should be able to make another selection of crops here. Excellent. But see, I can't harvest these for another two hours. Why this game has some kind of weird internal clock, is beyond me. I, again, I get it from a Facebook standpoint. And maybe this did start out as a Facebook game and not a mobile game, but I'm pretty sure it started on mobile. Uh, but it, it bothers me to no end, because, like, it, it puts a cap, like a minimum cap, on how long it takes you to beat the game arbitrarily, which seems crazy to me. Similarly, I now have three ore here. I can put those down, but I can't harvest any ore for another three hours, for whatever reason. Again... Can't harvest any more lumber for another 13 hours, which seems crazy to me. So I really, really dislike this mechanic. And beyond the fact that the game is too expensive for the kind of gameplay that it's offering, uh, this mechanic, I think, almost ruins the entire experience for me. I understand from a design perspective why this can be valuable in a Facebook game or a social game or even a mobile game, depending on the design. Uh, but for a PC game with no multiplayer, where you're just going to sit down and like play this through for yourself, uh, it strikes me as fucking insane. Now... There are five different, or I guess four different kinds of levels you can do. The green ones are just standard colonies. Uh, there's also many bears in the forest. There's a city on an island that has lakes and no ninjas. We haven't seen ninjas so far, but um, we also have Peaceful Valley, which has no ninjas, no bears, and lakes. Let's go to uh, Dangerous Forest, because I've never done this one before. Uh, and I kind of like bears as a mechanic. And you can see, like, all the levels are pretty much the same. Or at least this one is pretty much the same as the, the ones that have come before it. Uh, this is a fairly... Uh, Fairly similar design to the last level is what I'm trying to get at there. But I think we might have less tiles here. I can't verify that because I have the memory span of a Cocker Spaniel. However, uh, it, it certainly feels very similar. I think we want to do it like this. Set a tree up here. Set a bush up here. More bears. I think I should trap the bears in this area if possible actually because we can get some free churches there essentially. But yeah, this is, this is Triple Town. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to play. I'm probably going to play at least a, a few more minutes because this has been a fairly short video so far. 
However, uh, suffice it to say, I don't really think this is worth buying uh, on Steam. It's possible that, you know, this is the kind of game where you watch this and you think, Oh, maybe I should get that on my mobile device. That is totally fair. I, I could definitely see myself spending some time with this. I like the basic mechanics of the game. It's definitely a good way to, to spend time, I feel. Uh, I just struggle with the idea that I could actually sit down and play this at my PC for any length of time. And quite frankly, for $10, that's just an unreasonable ask, basically. Let's save this crystal for now. Um, yeah, like, like $10 is just kind of a crazy price. All things considered, uh, given the competition that this has on this platform, uh, and given other games that you can get for the same cost. I mean, not just, there's obviously great Steam games available at $10, but there's great Steam puzzle games available for $10. I don't know, a lot of people took issue with me calling it a puzzle game. However, Super Hexagon is literally one-fifth the cost of this. And I think you get more value socially out of buying five copies and giving four to your friends than you would out of, uh, you know, buying one copy of Triple Town. And I hate to say that because I, I think the developers are nice guys. Like I said, I talked to them at PAX, but I think... $10 is just kind of a gross misstep uh, at the, for this game at this point. Now, I think I want to... I don't really want to use a crystal here because it's kind of a waste just to create a hut. But I kind of had to, unfortunately. And we're going to do the same thing here. So at least we got like an uh, some kind of homestead out of it. But using two crystals for that was not a good investment on my part for sure. Uh, I think we... I, I mean, here's the thing. I want to create another church. But I don't... Want to, I think we should do it like this. So we'll put the bear down here and we'll try to create another church in there now. I had to make some extra space for that to happen if you're wondering why I was struggling with my wording there. Uh, let's put another bush here. Let's try to build... Oh, I always do this. Like build in the reverse order. Let's put more bears in here. Um, now I've done it. I've got myself into kind of an awful situation. Hmm. Let's put one grass here and now we're going to start spreading the grass a little bit. Because I'm worried about the potential. Oh man, I can't... I can make trees, but I can't... That might be okay. I need these bushes to be in a position... Where... I can actually, uh, like, make... Another bush out of them, if that makes any sense. Or make another tree out of them, is what I meant to say. And now we're kind of trapped in here, so I'm hoping we get... Uh, another bear's gonna be good, because that's a free church for us. Uh, but beyond that, now we need... Uh, the bears aren't gonna really do it. Unfortunately, oh, there we go. We got another hut. And we actually got a seed for that. Sometimes you get random rewards when you create things. Uh, obviously, this is for a capital city. Uh, so I want to destroy this rock, maybe? No, I want to destroy this grass so we can make a third church up there. And now we actually have a little bit of space. So again, I'm going to try to create another bush down here. And in doing so, we'll have another tree. And we should be able to make a, a hut in here. And then hopefully we'll get a crystal or something that we can use to, to make that even better. I've got to start building in the opposite direction. Like, that's my serious problem. Is that I always build in the wrong way, because I'm used to match three games being a little bit more piecemeal. There we go, we created a little extra space there. This will create another tree for us. Uh, we're going to create an... Uh, we're going to start putting our bears down here instead. And where can we put our bushes now? I guess we've got to put them in here. Not bushes, sorry. Grass, of course. And now I'm kind of trapped in hell. This will allow us to make another tree, but that doesn't really help us too much. We've still got a lot of empty space over here. Oh, there we go. We created a little bit. That's not going to last us too long, though. So, again, grass being the most common ingredient. We can create another church, but I want to wait for those guys to move first. So I can create a little bit more space. And possibly have the potential of getting three churches into making a cathedral. Uh, this is not boding well. We're going to be done here fairly soon. I think we should destroy... Uh, do, 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 do. Good question here. What should I destroy? I feel like destroying this tree is the best idea, even though it's going to cost us a lot of points. So we get another bear in here. Uh, and then we start trapping these guys as is. There we go. So we got a sweet church there. And we're still going. Like, that, that what I just showed off right there is what I like about this game. I actually enjoy when you get into the situations where you have to, like, really puzzle out. It's almost like a turn-based strategy game. Because it might look like it's real time, but actually, like, the bears only move when you take a turn. So there is some, almost like resource management going on there that I, I enjoy. However, we're basically done here. Yeah. So we got a, an encampment, which I guess is not as good as a hamlet even. But we'll see how many points we get and what kind of stuff we get. One gold! Oh, 124 coins and some extra lumber. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, so I, I enjoy the gameplay. I, I enjoy it enough. It's not the best puzzle game I've ever played in my entire life or anything like that. 
Uh, but just on a, like, mechanical level, this mechanic, this Farmville bullshit really pisses me off. But anyway, this is Triple Town. Obviously, as you can tell, I've got uh, mixed feelings about it. It is now available on Steam for $8 for its opening week and will be $10 after that. I would recommend, if you're going to pick it up, pick it up on a mobile device where you can, like, you know, play it when you're waiting for the bus. It's actually, it seems like a fairly good time waster. Uh, but playing it on the PC, I just can't fathom that too many people are going to enjoy, you know, sitting down and actually waiting for this to happen. Same thing with, with Hero Academy. Games that have, like, no, t like, basically require a lot of time investment or that have some kind of, like, small time, mandatory time commitment in order to progress in the game. And Hero Academy has that because there's no turn timer, which means, you know, when you're playing against people, it takes six hours to make a move. Uh, but this one actually has it built in just with, like, a bare minimum time to harvest the earnings that you get. Uh, I, I really dislike that on the, the PC platform. Might work better on mobile. Uh, might not. You know, buyer beware, of course, as you've seen the gameplay here. You can see if it works for you. But in any case, I'm basically rambling right now. Uh, decent gameplay, but a lot of missteps, I think, on a conceptual level with uh, Triple Town here. But in any case, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.